Postal Sunalei. Welcome out here to the high desert of Southern uh, California here in uh, San Diego County. Uh, just to the south of us, about a mile or so, is the Mexican border. And we're out there, out here this morning. I'm gonna do a little talk here about uh, labyrinths. And as you can see, all around me here is a crystal stone, quartz stone uh, labyrinth that we, uh, we built out here using the stones from the quartz area back over that way. The labyrinth is an ancient uh, healing technique used to help to restore balance within the uh, mind, body, and spirit, you know. And that's really important to us in uh, being able to uh, take the energies that we have impacted on us and the changes in our lives that impact us and that, that make us uh, uh, get off balance, uh, get confused, make us feel insecure, uh, a wide range of feelings associated with that, out of harmony with uh, being in one with the creation and with our Creator. And so we're out here today, it's really green out here this, this uh, June. There was a lot of rain here a few weeks ago. We had ceremony out here. And uh, so there was plenty of rain in preparation for that and we're very grateful for that. But now it's getting hot and dry. We're filming early this morning because it's supposed to be 108 degrees out here in the middle of June. And uh, it's also important today that we do this because on this weekend we have a Native American National Prayer Weekend. The prayer day is this time. And so we think about that. Uh, it's usually June 21st, which I believe is tomorrow, and we're doing it today. So we come now at this time to honor the uh, Native American community across North America that continues to be subjected to tyranny, oppression, racism, including institutional racism by many Native American Christian denominations and communities, uh, which is another story another you know research item for you the healing way is the most important aspect of uh, our traditions and uh, the walk that I was taught and being able to have access to places and ceremonies to be able to do self-healing is very important the labyrinth here is one of the oldest techniques for restoring harmony is a flow of energy through your body and through the flow of uh, energy and spirit out radiating out from you. You want it to be in a good way. And so uh, it's very important that we strive to keep our balance internally as well as externally in order that spirit can flow through us as we act in a hollow bone manner to allow spirit to work through us to help improve the quality of life of others and not just ourselves. You know, the one common denominator amongst uh, every Native American uh, nation that I have encountered in my life and in my journey has been uh, the emphasis of being of good service. It's inherent in the cultures and in the communities that being of good service is number one, it's the top priority. It's, uh, it's who it endemic, the foundation of the culture is being a good service. In the Native American Christian community, we see this also in the teachings of Paul, where that was his primary focus, was being of good service, and we see how he did that. And so, we think about that this day. The labyrinth, we have the entrance here, which, uh, you know, can we pan down and get the entrance here to see the stones here on the entrance? We have the entrance here. The difference between this one, this is a seven circle labyrinth here. And uh, we go all the way around in the uh, clockwise manner and then we come back around in the counterclockwise manner. And so that's what we're gonna do. Uh, the things that you think and feel and talk about or meditate upon while you 
walk a labyrinth is up to you. How fast you go or how slow you go is up to you and will vary from time to time each time you do this, whenever you feel compelled to do labyrinth. And you can build labyrinths in your communities where you are. Uh, you can research them. There's different kinds. You can make your own. Uh, you know, look into it. It's a very, very old technique worldwide. So do your history, do your research about the origins of the labyrinth. Uh, let me explain this. We have the entryway that we come in. In this particular labyrinth, we have the entryway. When we walk all the way up to the center here to the labyrinth, we have a walkway that goes all the way to the center. I'm going to raise my voice a little bit, apologize, we don't have a wireless microphone for this camera. But the culmination is the center of the labyrinth is the heart of our Creator. This is where our Creator's presence emanates from in this, in this circle. And the labyrinth in this way is built in the circle, in the form of the sacred hoop. We strive to come full circle in all things that we do so that everything is restored to harmony. The creator is always at the center of the circle. Life never ends, always begins anew. We all walk the circle, come back around full circle. As we strive to do these things, we think about all that it means to be uh, growing up in our lives as children, adolescents, adults, and elders and how that impacts and influences the choices that we make, the life choices that we make, and how that affects everyone else around us, and vice versa. Uh, one of the challenges of being a human being and living in the world is that we suffer the consequences of other people's choices as much as our own. And so sometimes we have to clear ourselves off, we have to get free of that, and the labyrinth is a good way to help that. Labyrinth uh, walking is known to have helped many people who have suffered from grave illnesses, who have been, their energies have got out of balance, and walking the labyrinths have helped them to be restored, and in so doing, be healed. And so we begin. The entryway faces the east, and we always begin from the east, looking to the west. The initial walk is to we go in a clockwise direction uh, around the uh, sacred hoop from east to south to west to north and back to east again and then reverse the directions. We're going to end up at the center of the labyrinth where we offer up our prayer way at which point you have the option of either just exiting the labyrinth coming out or to come completely full circle is to reverse the direction of your walk and go back around again. Labyrinths are built in many ways by many different forms. In this particular case we have crystal stones which is really beautiful in the moonlight. But they're also, you know, painted, painting on the ground, uh, using bricks. I've seen them with, made out of bricks to mark the paths. Uh, people uh, use grass and make little walkways. Uh, a big way is, you know, take a big cement area like a uh, basketball court or even indoor wooden area basketball court and lay out a cloth with a labyrinth on it. Now, personally, I'm a little cautious about that because I don't want anybody trepping on, a, on any cloth, but that's up to you. Uh, or you can just uh, mark outline on the basketball court exterior, you know, outside or indoor, and create the labyrinth. If you go online, there are many different forms that you can research. There's a, a, the oldest one from Europe, I think, if I remember right, is the uh, Cretan labyrinth. There's a French one that's pretty old. You'll have to go back and look that up. So you get, here's an opportunity for you to learn something new. Do your research. Uh, this particular labyrinth is uh, by my own design, based on uh, the teachings that I learned, and uh, seems to work well. So, uh, there we go. I'll just show you what it means to walk a labyrinth. We can get our puppy dog here. There we go.
That's basically what it means to walk a labyrinth. You can sing, pray, meditate, whatever you want to do. Uh, sometimes we have a fire at the center. We do a nighttime walk, and so we'll keep a fire at the center. Make sure it's big enough, and you can work out the dimensions yourself on the pattern that you want to use. Uh, organized walks, you can organize them for specific purposes. Uh, prayer, prayer walks are very good, help bring community together. We, uh, we always begin the ceremony by smudging. We smudge the circle, the labyrinth, ourselves, the people coming in. And, uh, you know, we offer up uh, prayer tobacco in the center. When we offer up our prayers, we leave tobacco to Creator to show our respect and our gratitude for the hearing of our prayers and the answering of them in a good way. And, uh, and then when we exit the labyrinth, we, uh, we exit in silent respect. Uh, so, uh, you know, Depending on the community where you're at, you can either build a permanent labyrinth, or like I said, you can have a portable one. Hey, come back here. Sorry, we got the puppy dog trying to take off my water here. <laughs> you can't have my water. So, uh, no, no, off, off. This is Lulu, by the way. And uh, so, uh, think about where you're at, what the needs of the community are, what resources you have available to you. <laughs> And uh, uh, how many dogs you got that want to play with your stuff? Uh, and uh, think about what do the people desire? This the labyrinth is very, very helpful. Shh. No, the labyrinth is very, very helpful in working with the elderly, especially in being able to assist them in keeping the movement and the motion and the energy flow in their bodies. At least that's been my experience. So think about that and uh, and have fun with it. Have fun with it. Now you see in our case we have the direction poles up. We have poles in every direction. We have the seven seven colors representing the, the seven directions of uh, our Creator, which is of course the four cardinal directions above, below, and Creator within. So we honor Creator in all ways and in all things that we do. Remember to keep your your journey about being of service. Our purpose is to help improve the quality of life of all people and not just ourselves. Focus on that and everything will be in a good way. Doesn't mean it'll be perfect. But for all, after all, we are human beings walking this spiritual journey. But if you focus on helping to improve the quality of life of all people and making all people welcome, and you will be honoring the true spirit of the ceremony tradition. Walking beauty. Father.